In my morning routine, a lot of people were asking what this was. I forgot to link it. Oops. It's not Vital Greens. It's a, a green supplement. And I take it before I eat anything in the morning. Dan and I have been taking it for about a year now on recommendation from his cousin. Meryl, please. I don't know if I notice much of a difference taking it. I like the idea of getting all of my green things and vitamins and supplements and all that into my body, but it's more so just become habit, right? I just like taking it in the morning. I take it and I'm like, mm hmm okay, I've had my greens. I feel better about my day. <laughs> so do with that what you will. Um, good morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to another vlog. We were up super late last night. I was up until two. I was doing some taxes. I finished watching The One, which I'd read the book previously and I was watching the show and I'm like, I just, I don't remember this. I don't remember this part of this, blah, blah, blah. And I think they kind of just mixed up some of the storylines, but the show was really good. I finished it very quickly and would definitely recommend. I would also recommend reading the book. The book was really great too. And we are having a late start this morning. I definitely need to get my workout in. I am having my little peanut butter banana bread concoction. I was gonna drink a black coffee, but then I actually decided to make my little protein mixture because I just, I feel really hungry. <laughs> right now, but I don't wanna have something too heavy in because I wanna, I need to do my Peloton this morning. So uh, this is what I'm having for breakfast. My hair is on, wow, she's on her last day. We'll talk about that later, but gonna put a mask in, gonna eat this and get our morning work done. Happy day, everyone. I got my new Invisalign trays yesterday. And to be honest, it's kind of crazy. Like my front teeth, my, this tooth has always overlapped my right tooth. And it's so insane that it's only been two weeks and how much it's already shifted. It's so, so crazy. <laughs> I wanted to put a hair mask in. Love to do a hair mask on my hair wash days before my workout. So I'm going to do that. I'll talk about my hair after the workout. Don't worry, we'll get there. But I tried out the Amica The Cure Multitask Repair Treatment. Um, if you guys watched that other, whatever my last vlog was, they had sent a giant box of stuff. Wanted to try this. I always see Katie Jane Hughes using these and I was fascinated by the little dropper bottle and my hair felt amazing. I also use this, just this entire Cure line. Yeah, the Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. My hair felt really great after and it's been a long time since my Fancies have been tickled by anything other than my Kerastase Blonde Absolute collection, so that was a miracle. Anyway, I am going to give my hair a brush, put a little brush through. This is my sixth day, day six of not washing my hair. <laughs> she feels greasy. Oh my goodness, it's gonna feel so good to give her a wash today. I have dampened my hair. Now I'm gonna put this in. I focus it mainly mainly on the ends. And then I kind of just brush it through. It has a really nice smell too. And I'm gonna put some in my hands. And I just take that through the top, top of the hair. Mm-hmm. And then I twist my hair in a good old little top knot that is absolutely going against what we are trying to fix with the mask itself. <laughs> and that's the hair mask. Okay, so we've come upstairs and I just wanted to get dressed for the workout. I don't think I, yeah, no, we'll just keep that down. Oh, you know what? I'll update you on the natural deodorant. Also, first of all, thank you so much for all of your recommendations on the natural deodorant switching phase, all of your recommendations for that and all of your product recommendations. I, oh, I didn't take a photo of it. I completely, here's some remnant. I'm hiding it because you know what? My armpit's hairy. Well, just to embrace that. If you can see this stripe here, that is left over from the burn. The tan I put on, the St. Tropez tan, and the Malin and Getz deodorant did not mix well. And I had this huge like searing burn on my armpit from last week. And it was so bad, it was so painful. I couldn't believe whatever mixture of things happened there. It was so weird. Clearly not having a good time with this particular Malin and Getz one, but 
I need to sort through all of your guys' recommendations because there were so many great ones, but also a lot of different recommendations, so I just need to take the time and go through that. Anyway, Reformation, new activewear. Really, really soft, beautiful material. I like this color. I'm loving the pistachio green, and I wanted to test it out today. Let's see what these are called. This is the Limon Eco Stretch High Rise Legging, and this is the Sammy Eco Stretch Bra. I got both of them in medium. I suppose I can take this off, huh? It is now on my naked body, so that ain't going nowhere. It's a more loose fitting medium. Some mediums can be really tight, so I actually like that because it does a nice coverage of my chest area. Oh, I gotta sneeze, sorry. And the material is just super bendy, really nice. I really like this bra. It has the adjustable straps, which is rare for a sports bra, though I don't really need it because I don't have boobs to worry about, but for anyone who likes that, that's great. Um, and the material is like, I don't know how to describe this, but it's that thin, very thin. If this was white, I'd imagine it would be see-through, but you can just see everything. Like, I don't really have a lot of cellulite issue, but like, this is like showing it on my thighs. You know what I mean? Like, I don't wear underwear with my leggings, which I remember Estee posting about this. She did a poll on Instagram being like, do people wear underwear with leggings? And I laughed because I was like, absolutely not. Oh my God. I sweat so much. I wash my leggings after everywhere. That just seems like another layer to add on to wash, you know? So I'm always <laughs> lips out <laughs> in my leggings. And so some leggings, like some of the Gymshark ones, for example, they're seamless. So you get a really bad camel toe, but then some leggings that have a seam just really crank right up in there and it can be super uncomfortable. Because this is such a soft material, it feels really nice on the lippity flippities. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm such a child. It also just, yeah, it's that thin material that kind of shows everything. So I don't know. This is really, really soft, really nice material. I like it so far. What do you guys think? I like the color a lot. Can I do the activewear? pose. There you go. I'm just, I'm just procrastinating my workout now. Let's, uh, let's get up there. <laughs> this morning I am just going to do a Peloton. I'm just going to do a 30 minute Peloton. I have quite a lot to do today. And because I had a late start, it's just the way the cookies crumbled today. And I've also been really bad with my Peloton. I've been doing my like strength workouts, <laughs> but I've been super bad with getting on the Peloton, which is very, very ironic. You know, this whole morning, is very ironic being a vlog that I'm posting following my 6 a.m. morning routine. But sometimes life happens. Sometimes you have a late night and you get a late start to your day and you have to adjust that accordingly. So I'm gonna do a 30 minute Peloton here. A lot of you ask about which classes I do. I think the best way is to just see <laughs> my workouts. If you follow me on Peloton, my username is the same. It's Adelanorama with two A's at the end. I'll link it below for you. But when you follow someone, you can go on and see the workouts they're doing. So generally, if I have a good high output, it usually means I've enjoyed the class. But uh, you know, for those of you who ask which instructors I like, I definitely have favorite instructors, I guess. You can go and see who I do consistently if you go to my workout page. But I mainly choose the class based on the playlist so it totally just depends what music you're into like i know so many people love cody rigsby and sometimes i get a kick out of his classes but like some of those like pop throwback playlists i more so like the dance edm like high intensity interval training classes uh so it just totally depends it's totally up to you and what you're into but i'm gonna try and find a 30 minute oh god olivia amato her classes are so hard oh look at this hannah frankson 30 minute edm ride Stunning. So I go on and check the playlist. DJ Snake, Skrillex, Major Laser. Probably something I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna do this one, Hannah Frankston, 30 minute EDM. See you on the other side. <laughs> oh God. Great ride, would definitely recommend. I love Hannah Frankston, I love her classes. Her, Leanne Hainsby, Kendall Toole, Olivia Amato, Emma Lovewell, top five. I need to say, as a first, where? <laughs> on the pants, all these fluffs are literally flying off. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see in the camera, but it's not even pilling. It's like a layer of fluff. My floor is covered in it, like just the pants moving on the seat. And I'm like, I can't tell if that's just an initial layer. Hold on, let me see if you can see this. <laughs> can you see it all on the floor here? It's literally fluffs everywhere. Like, can you see this? Look at all of it! Anyway, that is super bizarre. They are, it's like the softest material I've ever put on. 
but it's literally shedding. It is so weird. So I don't know. Someone, I'm sure one of you with more knowledge in the material fabric world will understand what's going on, but now I need to vacuum. So that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go shower and then let's chat about the hair. Hello, I'm out of the shower. I'm in the nude to tell you this. It's been now two and a half weeks of my natural deodorant journey, which I know I already just talked about, but first of all, I scrub, scrub. I did a clay mask as per your recommendation. I put a clay mask in my armpit two nights ago and I literally sat there like this, like waiting for it and then I washed it off, okay? I just scrub my armpits in a shower and just to see, like I smell my armpit right after scrubbing and it reeks, it reeks. Like the scent, I, I, understand that there is a detox period that your armpit needs to go through when you're switching to natural deodorant. We are in lockdown, so this is like somewhat acceptable to be doing now, but I could literally never go through that like three week plus period in normal times and go out and go to a gym and see people, have meetings, go to work smelling the way I smell. It's horrific. Anyway, I put the deodorant on and it literally, it, it goops up. Like it might just be this one. A lot of you recommended Wild. I don't know if this life's for me. I don't know. I'll keep you both. Okay, the hair is dry. Um, I've been trying to kind of do my best to not style it on the first day if I don't have to, unless I'm like shooting something in particular that I need my hair done for. I really don't mind the style of my hair like tucked behind my ears like this, so. I just switched up and used the diffuser on my Dyson blow dryer and it gives me a little bit of a wave. Like I kind of leave it still a little bit wet, put my product in and I just let it finish its drying process naturally. And then yeah, by tomorrow my hair has like a day of grit in it and then I style it sometimes. This is just this process on this day. Uh, finish up in the bathroom. Jo Malone has a new fragrance. This is the Nashi Blossom. And a lot of you guys, we, we share a same scent profile that we enjoy, you know? Um, a lot of us enjoy the same fragrances and this one is new, I believe. I got it in PR and it smells so, so great. I'm not gonna lie, some of the Jo Malone fragrances, like the floral ones, I like their like deeper, muskier, warmer scents. I don't usually gravitate towards their more floral scents because oftentimes they're that really like rosy floral and it gives me like a nose tickle and I sneeze. <laughs> but this one, oh my God, it's so fresh. It almost smells like kind of like fresh grass or like fresh, fresh laundry, but in a sweet like floral way. It's so nice. It's the perfect fragrance to complement spring, if that makes sense. Also, I love their updated bottle. This is so cute. For example, another one I like from them has been the Midnight Musk and Amber. This was new. This was part of their holiday. Anyway, normally their bottles are like in this kind of rectangular shape and they brought out this lovely little, yeah, really nice. There's a little fragrance update for you. Let's go get dressed. Ah, all right. We are upstairs. Just sat down. I need to partially do my makeup with you here today and just putting my oh my jewels on <laughs> the bodysuit button just pinched my butt I just moved in such a way oh ouch just putting my little masoma hoops in so for today's work tasks I need to film a reel a reel that I'm excited about working with a brand that I'm a big fan of and the reel is like with concealer and lipstick so I'm just gonna do like everything I can before I film it like my brows because that just takes me the longest and you know trying to remember here to do my brows first so this is the Anastasia brow freeze put this in do my brows I am just loving loving the NYX brow pens so much specifically the shade blonde I haven't really had issue with it sometimes like product will bubble out of it when I first open it because I do store them upside down. And so I just need to make sure to wipe it off a little bit or else it drips onto my surroundings. But other than that, like the product just, it's lovely. I am really, really liking it. It continues to be a favorite weeks later. Let me see if I can brighten this up a little. Is that better? Can you see me better? <laughs> Sorry, the light is super wonky in here because the sun, I mean, 
just in general, the clouds are just constantly super in and out. Like today is a particularly cloudy day. And so even if you think you've got the lighting right, it just changes so much. Like I would literally need Dan to sit here and just turn the knob as I'm filming to adjust as the light changes. Just gonna fill my brows, guys. Oh my God, I get so distracted when I'm doing, oh, my brows and messing it up apparently too. <laughs> so last week was super crazy busy. We had a secret little fun photo shoot, which is so funny because Taylor Frankel, Taylor, if you're watching this, <laughs> I had no idea she was gonna post it. I thought we were totally keeping it under wraps and then she posted a little sneak peek on her stories and I was like, oh, okay, well, I suppose I shall post something too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to um, toss that out there so randomly like that. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram and saw that, yes, hello, we're cooking something up. You'll be seeing that, in a, I mean, in, in a couple months, but it will be coming eventually. But yes, we were working on the top little secret thing. We had a nice little beachy themed secret shoot and I got my hair done for the shoot. I hadn't had my hair done obviously since June. Oh my God, it'd been so long. And I mentioned before my hair, we were just growing out my natural color and Armin a. Like as the bleach was growing out from my short hair, like she would just continue to tone that. So it'd been so long with that like grown out blonde not being toned and it had just turned such a brassy, grassy like reddish color and in some lights and like on some days it almost looked orange and I was like oh my god like I'm so happy my hair is growing and you know having this time to chill and let it be in health but it definitely needed a good tone. I just did a few little highlights throughout it but didn't change the overall color so I was able to do that for the shoot and I'm really really happy it'd been a long time and so that was last week. Super excited for you guys to see what's coming up and in general we've just been having a lot of fun doing these five videos a week. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I can't believe how many videos it's already been. It's Time is just flying like crazy and over the weekend Toronto opened up patios which is so exciting it's been such beautiful weather ironically it's actually supposed to rain all of this week of course as they open up the patios but you know the lockdown has been happening since November and I know a lot of restaurants had like taken the plunge and like bought all of these like crazy big outdoor heaters and whatnot and then you know they lock down anyway, but it's so nice that they're able to reopen. People can get their businesses rolling at least partially as the weather gets nicer. And that's just something really, really nice to look forward to as the weather is getting warmer. So that's really exciting. And then they opened up retail at 25% capacity. So I haven't actually been to the mall yet, but you best believe I'ma go run there and see what's up. I'm feeling very hopeful for the weeks and months coming up. So that's, that's exciting, guys. Oh my God, speaking of hair also, so Jasmine, who actually works for Newsticks, you guys, if you follow Newsticks and like their launches, you would have absolutely seen her face. She is amazing. And what a, what a multi-talented woman she is. Not only does she work for Nude Sticks on the back end, but she's also a fully functioning and working makeup artist and hairstylist. And she did my hair on the shoot. And she did a combination of curls and the crimper and with the highlights like getting the beachy wave it was so good and that's why my hair this morning was in such a state because I was so sad and I was in denial that I had to wash my hair and rinse out the magical styling that she'd done yeah I kept that on for for six days six days I kept that hairstyle but it was such a great job and it just kind of got better as I slept on it each day it was like four solid days of these beachy big beautiful waves if you guys remember when I tried to do the Desi Perkins hairstyle, that was the hair I had showed her and I think she achieved it so well. I'm so excited for you guys to see these photos. I'm so excited to see the photos. But yeah, Jasmine, if you're watching, oh my God, I need you in my life every day. I am absolutely gonna attempt to do that mixture of curling and crimping and I just love the hair and so that's kind of the hair I've been rocking the last couple days. I know in my luxury purchases video, a lot of you were asking about my hair and I was like, I didn't do it, she did it, but it was like the third day hair after she'd done it and it just looked so good. <laughs> but for those of you who are wondering, that was the hair. It was Jasmine's magic. Um, I just put on some Max Strobe Cream. Sorry, I'm like going in this little mirror and I'm trying to wiggle my brows. Maybelline Blur Stick, a little bit of Mac Gold Light Strobe Cream. I'm gonna use my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover. Oh, I didn't want my beauty blender. That's okay. I'll just use it dry. 
and I'll just blend it out with the dry sponge. I mean, the bathroom's literally right there. I could easily go at this, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Eat Hollywood Contour Wand and just do some solid contouring. And I'm putting it on before concealer just because I want to still be a little bit chiseled in the video, but it blends out nicely enough that it's okay and it'll actually look nice when the concealer goes over top. I know Katie Jane Hughes does this all the time. She puts on her like full cream bronzer and contour and blush products and then goes in with concealer over top to like finish and correct and I noticed that with Patrick Ta as well. Lots to learn from these makeup geniuses I tell ya. Okay we've got a base on. I just want to do a little bit of lip liner. This is my KKW Beauty 1.5 nude. I just want to have a little little bit of shape back in my lips before recording anything. All right, we've got a base on, guys. I'm gonna go film the reel, and I'll check back and meet you when I am done. Okay, guys, so reel filming is done. We'll see how it goes. I need to export the footage. I edit it on my computer because I hate small screens. I need a big screen and I need a visual, but this is the makeup. I feel like my lip is a little... I was like sitting there posing and I ended up putting so much lipstick on. <laughs> anyway, for the rest of the day, I actually need to go out for a little stroll. I need to pick up one more thing. I'm planning to film the one and done eyeshadows, which I have been planning and putting the eyeshadows aside, but I, I can't remember. Like I went to film this video and I was like, I was pretty sure that the Maybelline like bad to the bronze or on and on bronze, depending on the country you were living in, was sold out or discontinued or reformulated or something. And I just wanted to go and take one last check. Uh, I actually need to pick up a prescription at Shoppers anyway, so I'm gonna go pick it up, check for the shadow, and then my plan is to spend the rest of the afternoon filming that video, because I want to at least try. We'll see how it goes, but I want to swatch each of the shades on my eyes, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, guys, while I was actually filming, um, my H&M order came in and I wanted to basically with this order I wanted to try and find some dupes for some of the pieces that I've been talking about lately um, And what inspired it was this blue sweater, okay? So I just wanted to show you what came in real quick while we're in here. My nips are out We're ready to get dressed into something because H&M's been bringing out some great stuff lately The problem is is that their shipping is still super backed up So for us like making content here like by the time we actually get the H&M shipment in hand by the time the video is edited and eventually posted like most of the time that timeline the product is sold out So I know that can be frustrating for you guys as a viewer But I'm trying my best to get this up as quick as possible as soon as I got it Like I literally got the shipment today, so I'm excited that I can show you a few pieces So let's see how they look. So this is the piece that inspired this. This is my Ronnie Kobo Bodysuit. I bought this off of Revolve. The quality of this like the fabric the color It was just it just spoke to me and I was scouring the interweb trying to find a dupe for it because just that color is like ugh. It's been a really hard color to find like in that nice quality So I actually found this cardigan on H&M. It's not a bodysuit It's not an exact dupe for it But the color was like similar enough that I wanted to see if it could be a potential look dupe for it So this is the cardigan that was on H&M and it just has that similar like ribbed feel It's a little bit more of a rich blue and I felt like it just gave off a similar vibe to the Ronnie Kobo bodysuit So I was trying to find a dupe for you guys. Let's put this on I guess it'll look stupid with the bodysuit, huh? Let me put this on and see how it compares. Okay, so here is the H&M cardigan. I had to kind of undo the top button because when it's done up, it just like sits. This little thing bubbles. Like I could have definitely got the medium. I got the small because sometimes this like ribbed stretchy material is just super stretchy outy. But honestly, it sits okay when it's open like this. I'd probably wear this with like a little bit of a looser fitting pant so that I could uh, tuck it in like all the way. That's it tucked into the jeans. So I don't know. I don't know if the medium would be too loose or if this just isn't a top that fits me properly. But I just wanted to show you guys that in its ribbed style and the color, it had a bit of a similar feel to the Ronnie Kobo bodysuit. And this was the dupe that I attempted to find. So this is on H&M if it's still there. Hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will link it below if you guys wanted to 
have a more affordable piece that has a similar look and feel to the bodysuit. So next, I picked up some of their cotton shirts. Actually, H&M seems like they've just launched a whole round of cotton shirts. Just nice classic button down shirts. And I wanted to see how they compared to my Arquette ones because I know for Canadians specifically, actually someone said that Arquette doesn't ship to the US, which really shocked me. Please confirm if that is true. If that's the case, then even better. Here we go. H&M came out with a ton of cotton shirts, black, white, this really nice blue stripe. And it looks like they have a ton of different fits too. So I'll link specifically the fits that I got, but I actually sized down in these. I think they were more oversized. I got a size small and they have a really nice fit. Obviously I haven't seen these yet, but just a great classic piece. They were really affordable. I got a black, a white and these striped ones to kind of switch it up. And then I actually also got this t-shirt version, which I thought was really cute. This is a size small. It's very, very oversized, but I love this idea for spring. I'm picturing this with like straight leg, maybe like ripped jeans and then some boots or even some high heels if I'm feeling a little extra fancy, a little gold chain like this. I just love, love, love this idea. I think this t-shirt is so cute. A little bit of a twist on the on the classic button up shirt, but yeah, great, great options from H&M right now, you guys. I saved the best for last. These are my totem boots. I mentioned to you guys that I found these on Bestier Collective earlier in the fall of 2020 and I saw the H&M potentially has come out with a dupe and I had to pick them up just to see for myself you guys look at these this is the H&M boot let me hold them up side by side here uh hello that's a pretty freaking exceptional dupe if you ask me both of these boots are black leather boots genuine leather the totem ones retail for $900 Canadian the H&M ones retail for $109 Canadian Let's put them on and see how they feel. I'm coming at you really quickly from the phone cam. Left is the totem boot, right is the H&M boot. So the totem boot has a little bit more of an extended, longer toe. Totem, H&M. So you totally get the similar feel and vibe with the H&M boot and it's absolutely stunning. A plus 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 dupe if you ask me. Okay, so that's a super random quick little dupes I wanted to show you guys. That was my recent little H&M haul. I'm gonna link everything I can in the description box down below for you. And uh, yay for dupes. I'm gonna go eat something. I just got like super, super hungry, which is totally fair. I didn't eat after my workout, which I normally do, but I'm gonna go grab a quick snack. Hi, so for lunch, I'm just boiling some little potatoes. I've got a big frying pan with some olive oil in it. I'm gonna fry up some onions and garlic, put the potatoes in, let them fry up and get nice and crispy for a sec. Then I'm gonna pour a bed of spinach on it, pour in some eggs and steam it. Top it with cheese and avocado. I also have smoked salmon. Listen, I'm starving. I am so hungry at this point, but I feel like it'll be really good. Just a yummy little potato egg bake something very filling for breakfast, lunch, aka later lunch. Top tip, if you don't enjoy cutting up garlic and onions like I do, and you're going to use some for dinner, just do it all at once. So this is my onions and garlic that I'm going to use for pasta later tonight for dinner. Let me put that in the fridge. Lunch is here, guys. Honestly, it looks pretty flippin' delicious if you ask me. <gasps> and the yolks are perfect. <sighs> bless, bless up. Okay, I am way too hungry to speak right now. We're gonna eat lunch. Enjoy this lovely little recipe. <laughs> this is like the seventh time I've tried filming this clip because my phone kept falling. And I, I needed a moment to scream. Um. Anyway, I waited in like 12 different lines at Shoppers Drug Mart one for the post office, one for my prescription, and then the final lineup. And then I realized as I pulled into my driveway here that I forgot the excess garbage tags, these stupid yellow stickers you need to buy when you have more garbage, which receiving PR means I always have excess garbage. And we've been trying to not go to the dump every week. <sighs> and I forgot the one thing I needed to buy for that. Today's Tuesday, by the way, it's garbage day, so. So one thing I got, as per the recommendation from the dentist whom I went and saw yesterday, um, it would appear as though she put a lot of glue on the teeth where the little spikes were glued on. And, you know, I'm a very adamant teeth brusher. 
and flosser and there was nothing to be done it's only been two weeks and these were already turning yellow and i was like hi my teeth are turning yellow what the hell and so she did a little polishing of them yesterday but then she said to buy a whitening pen if i could so i bought this pen a little whitening pen this is an overnight one so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you posted if my little fangs stop going yellow from it and then i confirmed that there was no cream eyeshadow from maybelline available i'm gonna just go double check online but i yeah i hadn't seen them in drugstores for a long time and i thought like this I thought in my distant memory that they had been discontinued. So I just wanted to triple check before I filmed this video. But if you guys recall recently, like in a more recent video, I used the Revlon Espresso Cream Eyeshadow. I thought it was going to be like a warm espresso, dark brown, nice. And it ended up being like quite silvery. And I saw this one next to it, 720 Chocolate. So we'll give this one a go. I really liked the formula. So I wanted to have that on lock for when I film that video and I got my prescription. <laughs> Happy day. There's my shopper's haul. <laughs> Sans garbage tags. Oh, okay. I was just going through the edit of tonight's video. Wow, I already can't breathe. And it's right on time, guys. The day has escaped me. I haven't even filmed the other video yet because that video took so long to edit. I must hoist you above. The studio is such a mess as always. Good goodness gracious. This is what I need. Ah! There is a Zoom event tonight with SkinCeuticals. Skin. I can't talk in my trays. SkinCeuticals. And it starts in seven minutes. It's a trivia night hosted by Valeria and Chloe Smith, who is the brand's medical relations manager. Diving into the world of vitamin C and why you need it in your skincare routine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, this is the little package here. Here are the two here, honestly. The Refresh, thank goodness. The Floritin CF and the CE Ferulic, both of which I've used and loved from SkinCeuticals. And the new product here. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. I'll confirm once this is here. So if I am, here it is. Silly Marin. <laughs> Silly Marin. Silly? Silly? <laughs> Amazing. Daily vitamin C serum for more refined, smoother skin. And if not, then well, sneak peek, a product coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the brand, we're so excited to be speaking to everybody that's joining in to this. My friends, it's been a long day. I need to go to bed. This video is very long. We are going to upload it now. I'm going to go to sleep. 6 a.m. will not be happening in the morning, but we will see you all tomorrow for a new video. Thanks for watching.